Hi everybody, it's Vinnie Miller from the Delaware State Fire School, Online Training Coordinator. As you may know, we are transitioning over to the Delaware Learning Center with the state of Delaware. What we're trying to do is consolidate all of our training into one location to make it easier for you to have one login and one password to worry about as we approach the era of having more and more online education and hybrid education with our training. For those of you who have already set up your Delaware Learning Center account, we thank you. It'll make the transition period much easier. Anyone who is a state employee, especially those who work for the fire school, already have a login. If you do not know your login information, go ahead and reach out to me. I'll be able to get you set up so you'll be able to access your account. Now, for those of you who do not know how to set up an account, we're going to go over that now. First, you're going to go to the Delaware State Fire School webpage at statefireschool.delaware.gov. On the main page, there is the online training button. You'll click that, and that'll take you to our online training page. On that page, there's a link to the online learning page. Click that link, and you'll have a pop-up. You'll have your login button if you already set up your account, or you'll register. Here we're going to show you how to register. First, you're going to put your first name and last name. And then you're going to go ahead and put your email account. I have a dummy account set up for demonstration. Now it's very important that you make sure that you spell the email correctly because what's going to happen is this is going to become your email uh, for all notifications for assignment of training, completion of training, any messages. And this will also become your login. Uh, so it's very important that you remember what you put for your email. This is the email you'll receive, your notifications that you sign up for an account, and that you have been approved. All right, now you're going to enter in your address. This can be the business or uh, firehouse address, or it can be yours. Here I'm putting the fire school's web uh, address. Then we'll go ahead and enter the phone number for the fire school. If at any point that you realize you did already set up an account, you can always click login here. That'll take you back to the login page. This is on every page here uh, up until you submit your uh, new account request. So we'll go ahead and click next. It will land on the organization page. This is where you're going to pick up uh, where you are affiliated with. Uh, as it says, select your primary affiliation uh, when choosing the organization below. Just click the white icon here and it will pop up. Now here you'll be able to search. So if you belong to the Millville Fire Company, you can search Mill. That goes for any of these. Or if you uh, are employed with Heart to Heart Ambulance, you can search that way. I belong to the Cranston Heights Fire Company, so I'll just put Cranston. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So it's the Cranston Heights Fire Company. If you ever make an error, you can go ahead and click the trash can to remove it and start again. Click the next button. You can pick the gender. It can be non-specified, female or male. This is not required uh, to, to select one of these. Just one has to be selected. And then your date of birth, which we'll put November 15th, 1965. Next, you'll create a password. Uh, as this states here, both upper and lower case letters contain alpha and numeric characters, must be 10 to 20 characters. Passwords cannot have leading or trailing spaces, no spaces in the, uh, the password. Cannot be the same as username, ID, or email address, and passwords must contain at least one special character. So once you have all that, click Submit. So now I'll receive a message saying thank you for your time to enter your information. Once it's been approved, your email will be sent to you. Now I already set this up. What you have, you'll receive an email advising that your name, where you're from, that your request has been received, and you'll receive an email when it's been approved. The email will reinforce the one you had used 
uh, for your user setup uh, to set up your username and that you'll need to remember your password. Uh, these emails may take five to ten minutes. It may be almost instantaneous. It just depends on the day of the system. Uh, this one actually took about five minutes to get through before I received them. So I want to thank you for joining in on learning how to create your account on the Delaware Learning Center. There will be other informational videos on how to navigate and get through the system and the training uh, as we progress into the system. If you have any questions, you can contact me here at the Fire School at 302-739-4773 or contact me by email at fire.school at state.de.us. Thank you again for joining in. Take care and be safe.